Selama hidupku pernah jatuh hancur dan runtuh Ucap syukurku kalian setia menyayangi Tangis bahagia perlahan hadir hapus Bilung indah memori tersimpan banyak Tuhan aku percaya Semua sudah jalan Tenang jiwaku kini Sampai jumpa Selesai sudah Kisahku kan jadikan Selama bernafas hidupku penuh hangat cinta Kan ku lukiskan senyuman halu dari jauh Taman bahagia kini surga baru ku Tuhan aku percaya semua sudah jalan Sampai jumpa kembali Meski jauh di sana Semoga terkenang indah Hingga di akhir kisah Ku bahagia Ladies and gentlemen, Raisa Ramadhani. Hi, Raisa. Hi. Thank you so much Hi. for being Hi. here. So Please have a seat. <laughs> All right. So that was a soundtrack from the movie Laura. Yes. That has been in cinema for like almost a more month. than yeah. four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so four weeks. Uh, now, um, we know that uh, this might be a public knowledge mm -hmm. about the, the story of Laura because it is um, it was quite circulating. Yeah. Uh, not only on the social media, but also uh, from one podcast to another back yes. in the days. Um, but what caught you to be part of this movie? And also, please, can you walk us through um, the process of being selected uh, uh, for this soundtrack? Because I'm sure that there was more than one choices and one, one mm -hmm. options for the soundtrack of this movie. So yeah, I first got involved, uh, involved to be work on Laura. Um, is, is when I receive a call from my record label, Sony Music Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Mas hi. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, he told me that, so there's a movie called Laura, uh, and they're looking for a singer to sing for their soundtrack. And I was like, oh my God, everyone is basically waiting for the movie to come out. Yes. Um, and if I have the opportunity, I've told him, I would love to be part of this project. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Okay, you know what? Let's make a demo, and then yeah, we we made the demo, and then submitting to the creative team and everything, and then I was thrilled to receive a call back from the MD Music team that mm -hmm. um, I was chosen to be the singer for the soundtrack. So yeah, I was really grateful, and this is such a wonderful experience. So how long did it take you to make the demo? I think it's about like two days. That's <laughs> way, two days. 
too. Yeah. Wow. She said it so easily. She's like, oh, okay. so, amazing. With the help of like the directors, the producers, and uh -huh. the amazing people from the team. <laughs> but um, before we continue, can I just say your voice very mesmerizing, <laughs> and not only your voice but your hair is beautiful. My goodness, girl, talk. <laughs> I'm just caught between them <laughs> talking about hair. Okay, so then um, you you got the news that you got the job. This is yours. What's what what next? What did you do right afterwards? Like you met the demo, and then uh, when the movie came out, did you have to do you know the launching of the movie and, and the the song as well? Yeah, after uh, submitting the demo, and then everyone loves the result and everything. Yeah, we started the recording session. Mm -hmm. But there's a funny story, and one of the you know the challenges behind behind everything. So we need to do the recording session twice because, and it's not about the music or the instruments, you guys. It's about my vocal <laughs> and how I sound. I don't, I don't really like how I sound uh, uh, by the first recording session mm -hmm. because I sound more like angry and then maybe I gave too much emotions on the recording session. Mm -hmm. So after a few things, we decided to have another recording session mm -hmm. and the result for me, I think, it's perfect and it's way better. Okay, this, no, this is interesting because uh, you were mentioning about how the first take mm -hmm. was uh, sounding angry yeah. and then the other take would sound in, in other uh, emotion. But creation, uh, pardon me, creating emotion mm -hmm. uh, through sound mm -hmm. is such an... Important. An art, yeah. right? I have to say an yeah. art and it's not an easy thing mm -hmm. to do. Um, uh, how did you channel the right emotion in your mm -hmm. lyrics um, to reflect the heart of the story? Because um, everybody might have different emotion mm -hmm. um, when they were actually following the story of uh, the late uh, Laura. You know, there are some, some like differences between Laura and my other song because for this one, we made it especially for the movie, right? Mm. So. I need to like try my best to be immersed with the storyline and then I need to look out um, about the character's journey and everything. So yeah, I'm trying my best to like capturing the this the you know the emotions that they're that they're feeling on the movie, um, whether it's joy, longing or sadness and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, I tried my best to put that emotions uh, that the movie had into the recording session. You know, so it's not, I cannot be selfish because this is not like, <laughs> the song is not about me, it's mm -hmm. about Laura. All right. So now if we're talking about movies and um, mm -hmm. actors, they usually, especially when it's about, you know, like someone who was with us before. So um, usually actors would talk to like to the family, mm -hmm. like how was she when she was alive, mm -hmm. her characters. Mm -hmm. But you, during the soundtrack, did you have to do the same thing too? Yeah. Did you get to talk to the family mm -hmm. as well? Well, in my case, uh, maybe it's enough for us, the music mm -hmm. uh, team, for just like watch the movie instead yeah. because we made it uh, to the. We we need to you know um, to support the nuances of the scenes. So I think by watching the movie is pretty enough for us. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, so um, ha as a singer um, in such a meaningful project, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, this might be. Um, quite an important mm -hmm. movie for a lot of uh, her fans mm -hmm. uh, back in the days. Um, how crucial was it for you to find harmony mm -hmm. between uh, the movie mm -hmm. and also the music? Yeah, harmonizing like the movie and the music is is very crucial for mm -hmm. me because, um, like I said, we made the song to support like the nuances of the movie, so. Um, yeah, we're hoping that the audience will, you know, feel feels an, a seamless connection between mm -hmm. the narrative and the, and the music, the storyline, and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we tried our best <laughs> to give <laughs> a perfect like soundtrack for the movie. So, did you do anything mm -hmm. in particular mm -hmm. to to be able to channel the emotion into the music? Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know, My, maybe you, you find um, the fans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or talk to the fans, and you know, talk to the mm -hmm. um, writer, probably. Yeah, um, maybe because the story of Laura is a story that we all knew already. So yeah, yeah it make it so much easier for me, because uh, even even before the film was made, mm -hmm. I like, 
I I really looking up to the story and everything. So yeah, I think from that. So I I, I like got the the sense of emotions that I mm -hmm. can bring when we did the recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know that the movie is based on a true story. Mm -hmm. You watched it. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about it? What what what, what kind of did it impact you personally? Mm. Of course, <laughs> as a as a young women and mm -hmm. also is Laura. After watching the movie, um, I was left with with a sense of you know reflection and empathy, especially looking at Laura's character. Yeah. For me, she has a strong and powerful character. Even after everything that she's been through, the life challenges that she had, she's still a very cheerful, lovely, and a mm -hmm. power, uh, powerful person. So yeah, um, it made me think about like the resilience of like the spirit, the human spirit, and love, connection, and everything. So it's pretty easy for us uh, as, a, as a youngers mm -hmm. to be related to the situation. Okay, so Laura was actually known for uh, being a social mm -hmm. media personality, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now in the digital era, mm -hmm. uh, social media plays uh, a huge part in everyone's career. Mm -hmm and mm -hmm. journey, yep. whether you are in um, creative industry, entertainment, even in, you know, political uh, situation, political world. Um, but what people might not understand is there's, um, there's a real life behind that. Mm -hmm. So the way that you see it, uh, now that you, are, you have involved in the making of uh, the movie Laura um, as the uh, singer of the soundtrack and you've gone through a lot of research for it. Mm -hmm. What can you tell to our audience about how they perceive social media? Yeah, um, exactly. Social media is not the same as our real life. So, you know, one thing that we keep forgetting about, especially me and maybe other people in their 20s, we keep forgetting about how to be grateful to the life that we have now until something, I'm so sorry, but something bad happened to us. So yeah, you know you know what guys, don't forget to be grateful <laughs> and say that you love the people around you mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Make connection with people yeah, more exactly. than yeah, the mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. probably that's right. Yeah, but social media is fun though. I know, it's fun. <laughs> with all the reels that we've been sending to each other, yes, it's, it's fun. fun. All right, so um, uh, what's the core message that mm -hmm. um, you want people to take away from your song? Because there's mm -hmm. a... I, if we're listening to it, it feels like whatever um, God put you through, you just have to stay resilient and you just go through it, right? Yeah. So what is it from your point of view? Exactly. I mean, uh, the music are having the same message at the, uh, as the movie, I think. Um, um, like, it's all about resilience and connection and love and everything. But you know what, I just hope that everyone who watched the movie or uh, listened to the song, don't you guys forget that, you know, there's, no matter how hard it is, like right now, but there's always a light to be found, you know? So maybe I can support you all, um, maybe that that been in the same situation with my music. Mm -hmm. I there's agree. There's always a light at the yes, end of the tunnel. there's <laughs> always a light at the end of the tunnel. All right. And um, also, probably you have um, seen the movie mm -hmm. as well, and you might want to share um, how you feel about mm -hmm. watching the movie and stuff. You can share it in our social media at mm -hmm. C2J News. But here in See the Story segment, we have a tradition to challenge our guests, and today we want to get to know more about you. That's Yay. right. So <laughs> we have some question in the fishbowl. All you need to do is just answer the question. So easy. So are you so ready? Easy. I'm ready. Okay. okay. So this is the fishbowl. Okay. <laughs> do I need to read the questions? Yes. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Show it to you the could. Kids. Yeah. All right. Movie you would like to recommend and please sing the soundtrack. Oh, it's a very hard question. <laughs> but I think you guys need to watch Laura. It's an Indonesian movie that is a really good movie. And I will sing the soundtrack. Tuhan aku percaya Semua sudah jalan Tenang jiwaku kini Sampai jumpa 
Wow. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like the same as the recording. <laughs> <laughs> it does. All right, so more, nice. uh, more questions. Okay. Um, sing a song you like to listen recently. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, what kind of song? Yeah. What kind of music do you listen to? So I just to? watch Joker too. Oh, yeah, oh. Volia Du. Oh. Volia Du. <laughs> yeah, that one. And this one song is like stuck in my mind. Mm -hmm. Close to You by Lady Gaga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, why do birds suddenly, up, suddenly appear every time you were near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Wow. <laughs> All right, so Joker, have you watched it? I haven't, because wow. they were like, people are saying, why is it a musical now? Uh, exactly. Yeah. But it has like the best plot twist. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a clue for you. Yeah. yeah. By the way, although the Joker, the, the second Joker yeah, yeah. might be... Be a singer. <laughs> you know, might be like, Kabikushi Kabigam, because they're all singing. All right. Next question. question. Any unique ritual do you do you do before going on stage? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know, yeah. some some people might drink, yeah. um, you know, things like uh, ginger tea before yeah. going. Not only singers, athletes do that athletes. too. So what do you do? I am so sorry because I don't know what is kencur. <laughs> <laughs> what is kencur? Kencur in English is aromatic ginger, which I'm not sure as well that she knows that. <laughs> However, she knows the English for it. So yeah, I need to eat kencur be before I go on stage. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh. like a raw kencur. Like that a, is yeah. why. I fill them off and then like just eat it. Oh. So uh, is that uh, is it good for your voice? Yeah, oh. literally every singer that I've known, no, it's it's it <laughs> <laughs> kencur before going on stage. Okay. Oh, lovely. All right, so that would be one of the secrets of singers that you can you know, apply to yourself before probably go on presentation, <laughs> yeah. probably go on, you know, something, mm -hmm. family speech or stuff. Before but we go on a show for three hours. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> before we go on a show for three hours, that's actually right. So, um, Reza, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much. And, and nothing but a success uh, to you and also the single and the movie, Laura. One more question for you. Okay. Um, I've been looking at your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Not only one or two, uh, you know, comments from netizen, but a lot of comments are saying that you look a lot like Bunga Citra Lestari, which is BCL. Oh, yes. What do you say to that? I'm pretty happy with that <laughs> comments because she's she's such a wonderful and amazing and pretty um, individual. I mean, mm -hmm. if people said that I look like BCL. Thank you so that much. That would be a compliment. <laughs> that would be a compliment. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you me. so much. Please do come back next time. Yes. Of course. <laughs> All right. Viewers, see the stories. We'll continue after the break. Don't go anywhere.